dear students in this practical you will learn about brain and its different areas eliciting behavior human brain is the most complex part of the body this three pound organ is the seat of intelligence interpreter of senses controller of behavior and initiator of body movement brain is like a group of expert all the parts of brain work together but each part of brain has its own responsibility there are three parts of the brain forebrain midbrain and the hindbrain forebrain forebrain is the most developed part of brain it consists of cerebrum and different structures uh, hidden beneath uh, like uh, thalamus hypothalamus pituitary gland and limbic system whenever people see a picture of brain or the, uh, you can see here that's the cerebrum that they notice the cerebrum lies on the top most part of brain and the source of uh, intellectual activities it hold memories uh, it allow you to think and imagine uh, it also helps you to recognize your friends uh, read book and play games hemisphere split into two halves like uh, as you can see here it split into two halves through a deep fissure and these two uh, halves are known as hemisphere uh, so we can say that several hemispheres okay although both these uh, hemispheres uh, there is a split between these hemisphere but both these uh, parts both these hemisphere can communicate with each other through a uh, thick track of nerve fibers that lies at the base of that uh, slit or that fissure each of this hemisphere uh, has uh, has been divided into four lobes frontal lobe uh, parietal lobe temporal lobe and here is the occipital lobe frontal lobe frontal lobe is responsible for some executive function such as decision making uh motor planning and impulse uh, controller the next is parietal lobe parietal lobe is responsible for uh, some uh, spatial awareness and uh, a sensation temporal lobe temporal lobe uh, uh, it play a key role in auditory processing and memory and occipital lobe occipital lobe is responsible for visual processing uh, dear student although both of these uh, hemispheres are seems to be mirror image of each other but they are different uh, such as uh, the part uh, uh, which is uh, involved in word uh, formation it lies in the left hemisphere and the right part or right hemisphere is responsible for some abstract reasoning skills and uh, here is the interesting thing that right hemisphere control your left side of the body and left hemisphere control your right side right side of the body so both of these hemispheres control opposite sides of the body it means uh, if there is a damage in uh, one part of brain it affect the other side or other part of the body so if uh, if there is stroke in right hemisphere then this will leave uh, the right uh, left leg and uh, arm uh, to paralyze the next is midbrain midbrain lies at the top most of uh, uh, brain stem and it control some uh, impulse action and uh, it is the center uh, it is the center of or it is a part of uh, the, the circuit that control uh, eye movement and voluntary action and last part is the hindbrain hindbrain uh, it consists of upper part of spinal cord and brain stem and a ball of wrinkled tissues called cerebellum uh, this uh, this part of the brain uh, it it control some uh, some basic uh, and some uh, important function of the body like respiration and heart rate it uh, it also coordinate movement and involved in some learned motor uh, uh, movement uh, it means uh, whenever you play a piano or you hit a ball it means that you are activating your cerebellum dear student now uh, i will discuss uh, different areas of brain that induce behavior researchers design different experiments to investigate 
uh, different behavior, different specific behavior, the participants are exposed to different stimulus or uh, different tasks that are associated with that specific behavior. Their brain activity is monitored through some neuroimaging technique and a comparison uh, is made between uh, uh, brain function during different conditions that are associated with uh, your uh, uh, be uh, behavior of interest. So, first of all, here is prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex, particularly the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, it involved in some uh, executive function like decision making, impulse control, and working memory. Uh, next is parietal lobe. Parietal lobe or this area. Uh, it's responsible for some uh, special awareness, attention, and it also uh, it's also responsible for integrating uh, uh, sensations. Uh, next part or next area is temporal lobe. Temporal lobe. Uh, this part is responsible for auditory processing, uh, memory formation, and language uh, comprehension. Uh, hippocampus is the major part of this area which is associated with memory formation. Next is amygdala. Amygdala is like an um, uh, almond shape uh, structure which is present in temporal lobe and this part is involved in uh, uh, processing of emotions uh, for example fear and threat detection. Uh, next is occipital lobe. The visual cortex of occipital lobe is uh, responsible for uh, visual processing. It also allow uh, us to recognize uh, different objects and scenes. And the last area is stratum. It is a part of basal ganglia and it is responsible for habit formation, uh, reward processing and motor control. Dear student, by understanding the normal human functioning as well as how brain damage and disease affect behavior, emotions, and feelings, researchers are able to come out uh, with new uh, ways of treating potential uh, danger or disease that might arise. Thank you.